Hey guys. Hi. Tampa Show. Cold and rainy. Yeah. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking us to check out some toy haulers. Yeah. So we'll hit like about one per brand, I think. Yeah. Uh, so we're in a Jayco Seismic uh, 359. Mm -hmm. And uh, this we'll do this one for Jayco and we'll find a couple others in other brands. Yeah. Um, the main thing that you will probably hear us harp on is the, the living, living rooms. Room. So, yeah. So this is the living room of the 359. Um, I'm just going to stand here and rotate around. There's your kitchen. There's your fridge, there's your couch, and there's your TV. And the uh, fireplace feels great right now. Yeah, it does. But that's it. I mean, this is the entire living space. Mm -hmm. So for a family of five, that is all of your family seating area. Mm -hmm. Kitchen is okay. I mean, this is a decent-sized kitchen. It's like and some bar, bar stools. stools. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we'll go the front. Oh, the stairs are on the left side. Yeah. That's curious. So... I mean, it's the front of a fifth wheel. Yeah. Right, so this one has the full bath right here, passes through to the master. Um, and then, look at this. This thing is a fraction of the cost of those motorhomes we went in, but there's power on both sides there's of the bed. There's power on both sides <laughs> of the bed, yep. Yeah, so this is um, not an east-west bed. We like to see east-west beds in fifth wheels. Uh, we like to see them in every Everything. There's RV, just, actually. This is a good, good use of space. Yeah. Uh, this one instead... Hey, Brian, what does east-west bed mean? East-west bed. So instead of... Let me back up a little bit. So uh, this bed, that's the nose of the RV, and uh, this way is toward the rear. Mm -hmm. An east-west bed, the head would be that way, and the foot would be this way. So instead of having a slide with a wardrobe, which in my opinion is a waste, you would have <laughs> the bed on this slide. Yeah. It would slide out, yeah. and instead of having to walk sideways, you'd have more room over no, there to get dressed, do what you need to do. Yep. So east-west beds... Are nice, and we will see them in some of the other ones. Yeah, we will. Um, so let's uh, scoot past these lovely people and get to the garage. To the garage. All right, it's so back here in the garage. So this one, I think, was an eleven-foot garage on the floor plan. So a little half bath, right? Better than some. Actually, yeah. Yeah. And I like that. I mean, it's behind the entertainment center in there instead of cutting into the garage. Yeah. Right. A lot of them they cut into the garage, and then you're losing cargo space. And you're losing. Yeah. Living room space in there, so you got to give up what, what you're going to give up. But then washer, washer dryer. dryer. Uh, and in all of these, pretty much, you're going to see the uh, the elevator bed with um, at least one or two. Some of them, the big, huge ones, they'll have two of those. Yeah. And then down below, you'll have couches on either side. That uh, down so this is a small garage as far as toy haulers go. Right. Um, and almost, the door off yeah, the almost all of them will have a patio off the back. Mm -hmm. That one over there, that's a larger seismic. Mm -hmm. That one has a patio off the side. Let me stick my head out real quick. You see the patio sticking out of the side back there? Uh, we went in this one just because most of them don't have that. Right. So we're going to show these. Yep. So it's the front's hollow. okay. It yeah. doesn't have the east-west bed. Living room is small. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the theme of the day. Yay! <laughs> Another theme with toy haulers that we're still at the seismic. Yep. Uh, outdoor storage. Not always great because in the back it's all garage. So you're not going to have any storage in the back. Up here... Um, so we got a pass through up here. It's decent. Uh, and up under the nose, there's a generator prep area. And then this one is probably a kitchen. Or it is, and a TV. Wait. Oh, there's a TV backer. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> we've got a fridge and a blank wall. Yeah. Yeah, no. So there's a TV spot there. Uh, and then up under the nose, which is really common with fifth wheels, is you're going to have a little compartment here. And it's got a generator. So if it doesn't have a generator, it probably has a metal box. So that's called generator prep. Um, and then propane here. And then there's another one on the other side. So that's that one. So that actually has some front storage. But a lot of them, there is really nothing to speak of up front. So we'll move on and uh, find a different one. All right, next toy hauler. Back to Grand Design. Yep. We had a Grand Design. We did. Two years. We, we loved it. Mm -hmm. They make good stuff. They do. Momentum. So the 395 is down that way. That is arguably their most popular floor plan. Right. So we wanted to see something else. Yep. So we've got the 381 MS R. Yep. The dash R just means residential fridge. Okay. So it's a 381 MS. Uh, two entries. Patios open back there. Salad steps coming in. So I don't know how big the garage is. Okay, so this is the living room from the 311. Yep. Yes, but yeah, without the dinette. The, uh, well, yeah, this is a little bit different because it's the super couch instead of the dinette mm -hmm. and the uh, theater seats. But it's the island, and then the bathroom over there kind of encroaches into the living room. Right. 
Yep. Hand crank. Woo, loud. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> nice size TV. There's just a normal they, microwave. They're doing the new insignias though. Yeah, so, so they have the, the big Yeah, pretty decent ovens. ovens. Yeah, a lot of burners. Good gracious. Yeah, right. So um, the nice island. Is there. And you have your space for your coffee bar and yeah. everything. And that is a residential fridge. Yes. Haler? Never heard of that brand before. I know. Um, big TV yeah. and everybody can see from the couch. Yeah. I don't so. see any pedestal holes. Sorry, there's an unhappy child. So the loft entry is in here, uh, coming in from the yeah. family room. Or the living room, which I know some people don't like. Some people would rather have it coming in from the garage. Well, yeah, because if they're sleeping up there and you're watching TV out here, yeah. then... Yeah, yeah. And if, if that's the kid's room, right. then a kid's going to be in the wall. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll uh, sneak in there. Ooh, I don't mind standing right here. Fireplace is right <laughs> Fireplace. here. Fireplace. Yep. Oh, this is one of the bigger garages. This is a big garage. Yeah. I guess 13 feet, maybe. So it's got the, uh, the bed up there, and it's got the couches down below. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Open space. This is very large. Yeah. You do a lot with this. Yeah. And then it's got a patio off the back. Of course. Now it has stairs off the back back. I think you can put the stairs on the side as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Big, big garage. Big garage. Wow. And there's your entry into the half bath back there. It's wee. It is. So I think the 395, yeah, the 395 has the bathroom that comes into the garage. Right, that's kind so of... So where you're standing, it's kind of boxed in. And uh, that kind of eats into your garage space. But you have a better living space, too. Yeah. Well, well, I know a our different friends, living space. Our friends Jeff and Jordan had the 395, mm -hmm. and they did not use that bathroom. They nope. said they turned, they added shelves to it and turned it into a closet. Yep. So I could see us doing that. Yep. Um, so there's some uh, cabinets and drawers under the uh, little coffee bar here. Interesting place for the toilet. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Between so this two is doors. this is your full bath, and uh, that's a plastic sink. Yep. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's unfortunate. It's a porcelain toilet though, and then they have their new fancy. Uh, all of the momentums and solitudes have this new fancy uh, shower system that everybody absolutely loves. Yep. So this is the east-west bed, sticking out the side here. Yep. Nothing on the sides. There is power and USB on both sides, but there are no shelves for CPAPs. There's nothing above either. No cabinets up above. Uh, a lot of storage. You, ju you just were sliding a door. Yeah, this slides open. Yeah. Um, so you can take these out and put your washer dryer here. Yeah, I can see the, the little prep yeah, the module in there. there. Because these are curved, so you can't put them in here. Aha. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's got a little chest of drawers here. You could easily pull this out and make this like an office space. Yeah, there's enough space, floor space for sure to put a chair yeah. with a desk. Yep, that would be nice. Or even just putting like a top on here yeah. so you could keep Extend it. the store, the yeah. storage and then, because you could still sit here and have a table yeah. with lots of space. So yeah, yeah, that's a doable thing. Yeah. So, um, not too bad. The better not than the bad. other one. Yeah. I think this is better than the, uh, the seismic we went at. Yeah, I like this one better. Yep. One thing we did need to point out, because the Grand Design yeah. toy haulers lack a little bit in the best storage. Oh, actually this one's pretty big. Yeah. I think it's the 395. We're going to walk by the 395 yeah, in a minute here. We will show you that storage bay. Um, unless they change something for this model year. It's uh, historically been pretty small, so let's go find it. There we go. Found the 395, yep. and yeah. there's your front storage. That's it. That's it. So no pass-through. The last three we walked by had a huge pass-through. So, yep. All right, we are in Fusion Land. So Keystone Fusion 373. Uh, something interesting caught Aaron's eye from the door. So let's go check it out. So in the kitchen, whoa. They have swing-out seats. Little swing-out stools all around the island. There's one on each corner. Yeah. And that's empty all the way through? Huh. Oh, the sink is over here by the door. Okay. So since here, a lot of counter space actually. Yeah. I mean, the kids can sit at it. This is not one of the nice new insignia ones. It is a convection microwave oven though. Is that a pantry? Yeah, big pantry. Like, I guess maybe you put chips up here. No, that's where my cereal goes because the kids can't reach it. <laughs> so big old, big old fridge. Big TV here, fireplace, and then like a super sofa sort of deal yeah. over there. Lots of windows. A small dark loft up there. Yeah, so it's a loft entry. That's really high. Yeah. Wow. 
What did that guy just open? Super storage with drop down TV. That's under the loft? Yeah. Huh. We'll have to check that out. Let's check that out. So a sliding door on the bathroom. Mm hmm And it's a pass-through bathroom. Hello. So hi. So pretty normal. Fifth wheel front end. Uh, we got plastic again, porcelain toilet. Yeah. Regular shower. It's a king size bed. Yeah, king bed, little tiny arms. I see USB under there. There's a plug there. Plug on the wall? Plug on the wall. This door is sticking in. Where's there a plug? Oh, behind the mm -hmm. sliding door. Okay. And then closet up in the nose. Closet there and then. Is there a washer dryer in here or is it yes. out back? No, oh, washer here. dryer here. Okay. It's a That's big a lot space. Of... Yeah, it's a lot of storage. There's no, you kind of have to configure it yourself. Right. They just put a shelf. That's all that's in there. Yeah, and then there's a little, a little tiny hutch here. Could have done a much taller. Could have had more. Could have had more. Could have yeah. had more yes. doors. Yeah, for sure. I like the window though. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a full glass door leading out to the garage. It could be good or bad. Yeah, so this is that thing that guy opened. Let's close the door before we pull it down. Oh, it's huge. Wow. Alrighty. You got one of them? I got one. So I've got the other one all the way over here. So this is not a one person thing. Wait, what? It's like a clothes bar? Or is that the ladder? That's the ladder. It's the ladder for the inside. Yeah, yeah. the ladder's here for the loft. And then just some nets. Yeah. Okay. What does it do? Super storage with drop down TV. Oh, the TV the drops down yeah. here. Okay. Yep. And then bed drops down, couches go up and down. Same as the mall. Pretty regular. This yep. is a much smaller garage than the uh, I think Momentum. This is 11. Was. Okay. The, feels, the Momentum feels was right. 15. So. Yeah, that was a monster. Yeah. Yep. AC out here. They tend to have three ACs one in the garage and two in the front. Yep. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So that's another toy hauler. His fusion. Yep. So living room thoughts on this one? Um, I don't mind the living room in this one. I yeah. don't mind you. You are the one that doesn't like the TV on the angle and then that kind of thing going on because there's yeah. a half bath over here. Oh, we didn't do the half bath. Yeah, so. great. What was that? The door. Buy it on its own. On its own. <laughs> it wasn't me. Ghosts. Half bath. Toilet. Tiny. Sink and little vanity. Yeah. Yeah, and super super tall ceilings. And I like the big long couch. I like having couch. the big long couch yeah. because I like to lay on the couch. The kids would love the little seats around the table. Would they love them too much though? Well, they don't. <laughs> move, they, they are very difficult to move, so it's yeah. not like it swings out and it spins. Like I had to pull it out, so yeah. I don't think it would be a. But I thing. guess I guess the one the one negative in here is that that loft was real small. Yeah. And real tight and real tall. And it does well, not open into here. And so. even with the loft, I don't know that we would use a loft if we have this. Because we'd just put Tara on the big one and the littles would be on these two small ones. Uh, could be. Yeah. Could be. So. Or, I really like the loft in that uh, outlaw. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Because it was its own area. Yes. Like you had, it was, you deliberately it was its had its to get permanent into area. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. moving on. Find more toy haulers. I keep forgetting about outside storage. So Sorry. we're still on the Fusion 373. There's a little drop-down thing there under the garage. Um, yeah, TV. Just a TV backer there. And then up here. Little tiny thing, but it does go all the way through. Yeah. So it's uh, somewhere in between the, the really bad 395 storage and then the ones that have the big pass-throughs. Right. So then you have your propane. Oh, no, that's the battery cabinet. Propane's on the other side. And then, oh, there's more storage up here. So it's better than a 395. Yeah. And then generator prep down there. Okay, next up, we got loud music outside. So we got to move in quickly. We yep. have a Dutchman Voltage 4271. And, uh, uh, what? <laughs> okay, so I'm walking into a peninsula. Yep. With the sink and pantry over here, I'm assuming. Yeah, not even. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This is oven here. Micro this is uninspiring. This is a uh, wow. Okay, so this is a slide. So immediate problem. I can only open the left side of my fridge with this slide in. You can't get to the pantry. If you could even call that a pantry. Big TV up there. Way up high. Weird little, Weird little... Yeah, benches. I guess you could put chairs on this side. 
Yeah. This is proving my bad living room and toy hauler yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the garage. Uh, okay, so this has the little, um, like Dan's, our friend Dan has a voltage. It's not a Triton series though, so it's a little different up front. But this has the, the big wall for the half bath that kind of flips and folds out. So that would leave the toilet exposed, but it at least doesn't eat up into the corner here. Uh, and then you've got the Happy Jack bed with the couches down below. Uh, porch off the back like normal. So nothing new out here. No. Uh, the washer big dryer hookups. Yeah, washer dryer hookups right here. The big thing is loft is accessible from inside, not outside. So come forward and you have a den. I wouldn't call this a mid bunk because there's no bunk in it. You could put. You could put bunks in you it. Could put yeah. Beds in there. So that's a slide with a couch. There's six drawers here though. Yeah. So there's that, and then you can put a TV on here. And then okay. up above, there's a loft if you're looking for a loft. Yeah. So it actually has two lofts. Yeah. There's this one, and then the one above the garage. Okay. I am. I feel very claustrophobic all of a sudden. Yeah. It's a very skinny, long hallway. It is. The windows help a little bit. But yeah, eight. this is tall enough, taller than most of the lofts. You're looking at probably two feet, two and a half feet up here. It's still really tight. It is, but you could roll over and not touch the ceiling. Um, not you. Not me. <laughs> I wouldn't be up there. It's a nice size shower. I don't know why we need such a big sink that's up above. But yeah. Those are just really hard to clean behind. Yeah. Towel closet. Yeah. And then they have a slide... Um, a wardrobe on the slide here in the master bedroom. Yep. But it's tight in here, but there is a place to put your CPAP. Lots of cabinet space. There is power and what have you. And the yeah, washer that, and dryer prep was out in the garage. Yeah. That um, living room, though. Woof. <laughs> okay, so we kind of pooped all over the previous uh, Dutchman voltage. The living room on this one is much better. This is... This is nice. Yeah, I think this, we think this is the 4145. I'll so. check outside in a second and put it on the screen. Uh, but this is, so these seats are kind of okay. I mean, you could put a desk there and that could be yeah, a, could. a work area. Um, but you big old TV over here with a fireplace. And it's just a ton of open floor. There's a lot of floor space, but a nice it's a rug lot of floor. there. So I'm back by the door now. The children can, can watch TV like on like a bean bag out here. There's plenty of room for yeah. that. So you got the couch over here. There's no dinette. That's okay. Is there, I don't see any pedestal holes. But you can sit at a table. You can the, eat out the, there. Yeah, we'd eat out there. The yeah. kids would I eat mean, out there. We eat at the couch anyway. We eat at the couch. <laughs> um, the entrance to the loft is on the inside instead of the outside, so there is that. But you know what? I don't think we would use that loft no. if we had a whole, if we had a whole thing. Tara would want her own space. I think she, because... That's high. It is. But I, that's why I think the other lofts are better. Yeah, but this this living space... Is way better. It, like I would like this in like a fifth wheel. Yeah. This is a nice yeah. living space. Yeah. Stepping up in here, it does not have the east-west master. No. So again, that would be perfect. I like. I it's. I think it's a waste to do the uh, slide as the wardrobe. I yeah. just put the bed on it. This is the same bathroom as the other one. Yeah. The I sink's a little it. different, but it's still. Um, but the uh, living room. Nice way living better. room. Way better. Excellent living room. Yeah. All right, so for the outside of the 4145, there is a kitchen. Uh, this is pretty high. Yeah, you're not going to um, be cooking there. I'm six feet tall, and this is almost chest height, so that would be... I'm frying stuff in my face. Yeah. <laughs> but there's TV. Uh, no storage back here on the outside. Um, I do want to point something out. I am enjoying seeing um, nicer tires and the more ride, the Cree shackles. They're pretty much all doing that now. Grand Design's doing that. Dutchman's doing that. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff way better than what they were putting on these things three years ago. Uh, so, outside storage up front. Oh, it's locked. Dagnet it. Okay, well, it's got the nose. Generator prep, or it's, uh, this one actually has the generator. Yeah, it's locked. Um, okay, well, I'm assuming, I'm guessing that passes through based on the size of that door. Yeah. Let me go to the other side real quick. Okay. And it opens. Yes, it passes all the way through, but it's not very large. It's not the size of the door, but it does pass through. And then you have your leveling over here, and you have your uh, wet bay hookup area over here with the valves for the for dumping, and then your inputs for cable and satellite and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it is triple axle. It's a big boy. Let's look at the sticker. 
Uh, let's see, we are gross is 20. You're in dually territory here. And payload is 4340. Very nice numbers. It's big. It's big. big. Real big. Big truck for this. Oh yeah, this is dually. All right, so for our final toy hauler. Final toy We're giving hauler. Alliance another chance. <laughs> we, we were a little rough on Alliance last year. We um, I think deservedly so. It was their first year. Hopefully they've ironed out some kinks. Uh, we're looking at the this very um, aggressively painted. <laughs> aggressively painted. Is Alliance a good Valor uh, 40, 40 V13. It is very long and very heavy. So let's uh, let's go inside and check it out. Yeah. We'll go in through the garage. I actually kind of like the paint. <laughs> I do too. It's it's a little over the top, but that's all right. That's all right. I actually appreciate. We always joke about the names of fifth wheels. They're like They're very... Venom and Warrior. Right. And just like really aggressive stuff. Valor is not that bad. No, it's, I like Valor. It's all right. So we got a Happy Jack. So we got the kind of the queen size mattress and the things that are. It's it's the same garage. Same thing. Same it's garage. The same for everybody. garage. Uh, this one has a loft. It opens to the Obviously inside. Obviously, you're gonna open it to the inside. Any and this toilet. has the half bath that does not come into the garage. So that's another difference that we're seeing. And you can sit without hitting. I thought I might hit here. This door handle's gonna hit you. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. No, it didn't. It was right here. It was right there. Yep. Yeah, it would hit me. Um, so washer dryer pipe right here. And uh, AC. Yep, there's an AC unit up there. Okay, so uh, garage is garage. This one has the living room kind of like the voltage we were just in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is this a pantry here? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice pantry. So pantry right here as you come into the into the living area. The um, loft is not as big as the voltage we were just in. The voltage had a, a twin size loft with a really nice uh, window. Uh, this one's stick my arm up there. A little skinny. And there's no window up there. It's a little dark then. So kitchen, yeah, this is very similar. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we've got the fridge here on a slide with the couch. Yes. This one has storage up top. Did the other one have storage? I don't know. I didn't look. With for the couch. Um, it's got big storage up there. TV is a little smaller than the other one. Yeah. I think this looks nicer. Does this look nicer? I no, really like the other one. I think I like the other one too. I like the other one. Um, solid surface countertops. Uh, they have not gone to the newer ovens that are better. It is a convection microwave oven. These are huge doors. Whoa. Whoa, that's a problem. Yeah, I hit that. That's going to happen every time. So there's a little sign that says soft close hinges. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it did. I'm just gonna kind of throw it. Okay. okay. Well, it keeps it from slamming. Yes. All right. So this is the same layout, not as nice as the other one. Yeah. Actually, I like that little battery meter. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Fireplace down there. This one has a little added. Oh, that's right. They do the epoxy countertops. Yeah. That's why it's all like. It looks like marshmallow. It's like rounded and smooth. So a little pop-up section here. They even have a sign that says no floor vents on the main level. Yeah, right here. No floor vents. On the main level. On the main level. <laughs> Asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> so that means there's floor vents up there. Let's yep. go find them. Yep. So heading up into the front, they have the little shoe cubby just under the stairs there. Uh, so oh, this, this is the door. Yeah, this one has the east-west bed. Aha. Okay. Yeah. So it's got a barn door for the bathroom, pass-through bathroom. Looks like plenty of room around this toilet. Porcelain toilet. Pretty good sized shower. Mm -hmm. um, it does not have the epoxy countertops in here though. No, this is just that plastic laminate stuff. I don't like seeing that. No. So, east west bedroom. Can we fix the lights? Uh, yep, got it. Yeah. yeah, this one actually has a dimmer. A lot of them you have to hold the switch down and it slowly goes up and down. Yeah. I like a dimmer because I can do it quickly. Yes. All right, so that was a hidden storage thing. Yep, not super hidden, I would say. No. <laughs> so a chest of drawers, east-west bed. Uh, no real arms to speak of up there. Nope. But there is power and USB. And it's a king-size, oh, it's a Serta. King-size Serta mattress. Right. That's nice, because those uh, Denver RV mattresses are rough business. Your washer-dryer prepper is in here. I don't know if they had it also in the back. I thought it was. So maybe some have it in both places. Yeah. I don't, Depending on where you want it. Huh. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you have a big toy... You don't want to put a washer and dryer in there. Well, I mean, if, it, if, if it's either I get a washer and dryer or my toy doesn't fit, then it's nice to have the option to put right. it up here. Yeah. I agree. So are there cabinets behind? No. 
Yes. There's nothing behind no. the sliding door? No, there isn't. Oh, it just, there's like, oh, wait, it's like a four on. piece slide? Hold on. What is going hold on. on there? Hold on. Yes. Oh, it's there's just all, all the way through? It's a little closet. No, it's. Oh, okay. Separated. Yeah. Okay. Well, I might do it too. I just thought that. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. There you okay. go. So. I think Valor has redeemed themselves yeah. from last year. Yeah. So I don't know if the they're really loud. <laughs> okay, so good job, Valor. Yep. You fixed it. Or like Alliance. It. Alliance. Nice. All right, we There's have really nothing. loud music, so I'm going to talk close to the microphone, just outside, real quick on this Valor. Uh, we have a tiny, I, I wouldn't even call it a kitchen. It's a fridge, a TV, and some storage. And then storage. big pass through. Yep. Big. I would I would call that big compared to the 395. And what was the price on this? 129 is the price on this one. This is right. a 13 foot garage. 13 foot garage. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's get away from that obnoxious loud stuff. Okay, so that's it for uh, toy haulers yep. for us uh, this year. Um, Saw some things we liked that was a yeah, little surprising, but was. then some of them redeemed our yeah. thought process of why yeah, we don't. Yeah, I could see uh, those last two: that voltage and actually the Alliance one. The balance, yeah, yeah the I mean, Valor one. The Valor. They're very similar. There's a couple uh, minor, 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 <laughs> minor things. small minor differences. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I think those were better. Better they're living rooms. Better living rooms, living yeah. spaces. A lot of kitchens. them, I think a lot of them kind of hitch their horse to the garage and the customization that you can yeah. do in a garage. Right, and they forget and then about they forget about everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So I want the east west bed. I want a good living room and the garage. Yeah. yeah. So. So that's it for uh, Toy Haulers, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.